What's going on, ladies and gentlemen? It's your boy Frankie Hardwork, and I am super duper back with another one. So yeah, man, when it rains, it pours, man. When it rains, it pours. Like it's like with this case right here, and they doing this fast too. It's like the race to the money. You know what I mean? Whoever get the Young Thug money first, that's that's who wins right now. But um, so Young Thug given our given October 2023 court date and six million dollar legal battle with A and G. Thugger could lose his YSL brand and portions of his publishing catalog and his fight with the concert uh, behemoth. Mm -mm -mm. Young Thug had likely been spending more, more and more time gearing up for his impending jury trial 2023 surrounding the 56-count YSL Thug indictment. But that's not the only legal battle that so much fun rapper has to face this year. As all hip-hop um, reports... Thugger has been given yet another trial date. This one is in October for the breach of contract and uh, lawsuit from the concert behemoth AEG Presents, who are seeking up to $5 million uh, from the 31-year-old, amongst other things. AEG is in search of the return of multi-million dollar advance they paid the Atlanta artist several years ago for exclusive rights to all concerts. Damn, man, that's crazy, man. In December 2020, the company stated that Jeffrey Williams signed an agreement to 2017 that he almost immediately breached. Despite AEG supposedly having exclusive rights to his concert, Thug continued to book shows on the side and collect hundreds of thousands of dollars in performance fees. Let me start right there. So when he signed that contract, he wasn't even supposed to do no side shows. You know how you might do a little side show in the hood for about 40 racks real quick couple 50 racks like you know what i mean they get him over in north they get him over in new york you know what i mean he couldn't even do that that's crazy despite having granted a and g the artist exclusive right to promote mr williams concert performance under the terms of 2017 artist agreement ysl and mr williams immediately fell refused to honor their respective obligations under the 2017 artist agreement by amongst other things Disregarding A and G rights, performing concerts without A and G involvement, and retaining all the proceeds generated uh, therefrom. Attorney, uh, shit. hold up. Now this is the last. This is the part I want to read to y'all real quick. A and G is seeking five million dollars plus interest. That also has claimed a young thug put the part of his intellectual property rights into the agreement as collateral. Damn. Damn, so he probably, he put it, that's when he, that's why they're talking about taking some of his publishing rights. They're taking some of his publishing rights because that's what he put in there. Like, if I mess up, y'all can take this and, and y'all can take that. Y'all can have this amount of money. Shh. Damn. And it says, NG is seeking to control of YSL brands, portions of its publishing catalog, as well as Young Thug trademark to recoup the events. Damn. Thugger eventually ignored the allegations, but eventually replied with the denial. This this time last year, his lawyers were in, were in talks to settle all those parties ultimately failed to come in agreement. Currently, the A and G versus Young Thug. Da, da, da. Now listen, this is what I be talking about when I be saying little things like, "Yo, people be making moves behind that we don't even see. Like we see the, we, we we see the money, we see the jewelry, we see the cars, we see all that, right?" But these dudes be making life-changing decisions behind. I mean, it ain't none of our business. They can do what the hell they want. But I'm just saying, they they make these life-changing decisions for a bunch of million dollars, and knowing they're not gonna cover it. Now, the young Doug, he should know that that little side money. See, they, they be wanting that money so bad that they don't understand that they can get the money on their own. Them little side hustles when you're doing shows for 50 racks, 30 racks here, and going all around the country, and you doing all this on your own, that shit add up. They be wanting the millions right then and there, you know what I mean? The millions, give me this five million right now, and, and, and not knowing they can make that make that on their own. Like, yo, man, and, and then another thing is, his brand is still good. Don't get it twisted now. His brand is still good. Right now, I believe that they don't even want that money. They don't want that money no more. They want his brand. Because they know he's going to be locked in. They know his stream's going to go. They know his merch going to go. They know all that's going to go up under him. And they want his brand to get to recoup that money and more. That's going to be something that's going to be on for the rest of their life if they get off with this. 
And they know what they're doing right now because they know right now he's paying millions of dollars for these lawyers, man. They know that. You understand? And they, and, and they coming at him right now, right now when he had his, damn near at his low, well, he had his lowest point right now. He in jail. From what I heard, they freezing accounts. He getting sued for jury, all types of stuff. Now he getting sued for damn near his whole estate. Like, yo, man, like, y'all let me know how y'all feel about this, man. Like, do you think that young thug, you think they going for the juggler on this one? But it's your boy Frankie Hard Work. Like, comment, subscribe. Let me know how you feel. Easy.